This video in the Unreal Engine 5 World Partition series discusses what level of system requirements there are for working with large worlds. I often see people complaining that the memory requirements for large open worlds in Unreal Engine is too high. This is simply a fact of the sheer amount of data involved in creating large worlds. The bigger the world, the larger the asset size. The recommended system requirements on the Epic Unreal Engine page is strictly for very basic game creation and editing and are not indicative of what is required for large open worlds. The information regarding Epic's own typical system specifications is closer in line with what is required for most level editing, which is 64 gigabytes of RAM memory minimum. Memory requirements for creating large worlds are high due to the sheer amount of asset data involved. For example, a 32641 by 32641 PNG 16 height map is 2 gigabytes of data. The streaming textures with MIPS for that will be about 6 gigabytes in size, plus other memory requirements. So along with scene rendering and mesh and texture memory, a 32K by 32K terrain scene will require tens of gigs of RAM memory when loaded. The resulting project on disk is typically up to 10 times larger than the height map data, which puts the 32K by 32K project at about 20 gigabytes on disk. The basic guideline for RAM memory requirements for importing and creating large worlds follows this rule. 8 km by 8 km world creation is 32 GB of RAM memory required. 16 km by 16 km world creation is 64 GB of RAM memory required. 32 km by 32 km world creation is 128 GB of RAM memory required. The larger amount of memory is required during height map importing and landscape streaming proxy texture creation. This specified amount of memory also includes headroom for editing the world to be able to add foliage and meshes. The following images show the amount of memory required to import or fully load a world partition terrain. Note that this process occurs in memory for the height map import and landscape streaming proxy texture creation, so memory requirements are high during this process. The imported landscape data is not saved to disk until the save level as or save all is executed. Here are some actual terrain import numbers on my R9 5950X, 128 gig RTX 3090 system. The following images show the amount of memory required to load all world partition cells for specific terrain sizes. 